Hey, what's up, nerds? Welcome to another edition of Dose of Nerd Acumen's Classics Lounge. Uh, tonight, we are going to be playing uh, a game that is pretty uh, deep into that classics zone, something from way back in our childhoods, but is super relevant these days with the upcoming release of the new movie starring Dwayne The Rock Johnson, Rampage. Tonight, uh, I'm going to have a special guest alongside me, uh, something slightly out of the ordinary. Uh, so I'm going to make a little bit of space, uh, space on the couch and want you guys welcome my special guest to play with me tonight. Oh, I'm just so nervous. <laughs> this is his first time on the Classics Lounge, so, you know, let's be nice to him, you guys. Oh. That way maybe he'll come back and do this again sometime. Eesh. <laughs> so it looks like your chat's broken, Gravity oh, Well. Oh no. So we should probably figure that out before we get started here. Let me, uh... Yeah? Let me, 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 let me. Let me log wait. into the, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna go take a swing at it. You shouldn't be? Oh! <laughs> kind of smallish is, uh... It's laughing there. Fresh cash. So anyways, though, welcome to Classics <laughs> Lounge here, DNA show, where we have special guests now. Uh, of course we have, not Gravity Well, not, steady. not so Gravity Well. We have Locksteady here, and indeed we are playing a very special game tonight. That game is... Rampage. Rampage! Oh wait, I can't. I can't, can't fix your Facebook. You can't fix it? Because you're, you're streaming to you, aren't you? Yeah. So we just you unlink and relink? It. Yeah. Unlink, click yes, log out, refresh, log back in, relink. That's the only way I've been able to consistently log get it out. to fix. It is. Log in. Gigantic pain in the monkey butt. Speaking of giant monkey butts. Yes. You guys excited for this new movie? I, uh, Who's going to see it, by the way? Anyone paying for a ticket? Has the rock. I'm on the fence. Um, not the side of the building, though. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, legit. Like, uh, I do love the rock. And I am hopeful that maybe we can get some not awful uh, gaming properties. We broke it. Did we super break it? I don't know. Hey, there's a chat. What, what platform is that chat from? Do we have game audio? Do we have game audio? Yeah, we do. We totally do. do, 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 do. Oh, did it start already? Oh. How do I get out of this? I'll just have game over. <laughs> it just, can I just... Can you join? You can join. Hey. Awesome. Noise. So, we're just starting here. So this is indeed, I'm gonna sit really close to you so I can be a camera. So, this is Rampage. Um, this was a game oh, I played button. pretty young. Uh, I came out in the late 80s, but I honestly don't think I got a copy of it until probably 1990. Uh, it was a game I rented a lot. Um, back when that was the thing that you could just go down to the local video time or your video store, whatever you had locally. Mine was called Video Time. Um, oh, 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 I just socked you in the face. Punch me right in the nose. So this this is one I spent a lot of hours playing, just because there was a lot of levels and a lot of replayability to this. It's not an easy game by any means. You just stole that QR code for no reason that I can determine. Uh, why isn't it Gorilla Albino? They did a horrible job in making this like the movie. <laughs> this is spot on to the movie. Have you seen the trailers? Like that green guy that was just in the window, that was The Rock. Oh. I just bounced over your head. You went Mario on my noggin there. So The Rock actually is in that green helicopter. If you <laughs> zoom in on those pixels, it's perfect. Lifelike representation. It's, it's exactly it's... alike. So this guy's mad. What is he doing? I, hey, I can't hey, get him. hey. Stop shooting me. So the objective here is um, basically destroy the buildings. Just wreck stuff. Just rampage. Hence the game. Eat the civilians. Knock the building down. 
Whoa, buddy. So this was a port from the arcade. Not a pixel perfect port by any means, because obviously the NES had its limitations. Yep. Um, but honestly, like a very solid and fun port. Yeah, yeah. Uppercut that helicopter. Get a piece. So who here has never heard of this or didn't even know that this was going to be um, a movie? I forget, the relation, I guess. Who didn't know the relation? Because I feel we were chatting um, on Facebook today. There was a few of you that might even be watching that didn't know this was from the game or it was a video game movie. Yeah, I... Uh... And The Rock has done that quite a bit in his career, done video game movies. Oh yeah? What what else? Doom. Do tell. You don't I, remember Doom? I I never saw Doom. What? Um You didn't miss anything good. Oh, for a minute there I thought I died. Um Yeah, no, I don't know what's uh That's a bummer. No Facebook chat. Sorry guys. He um, makes movies that aren't from video games. Uh, Facebook chat is working, by the way. Oh, is it? Yeah. Um, Pat just commented on Facebook. So, yeah. Um, I mean, honestly, though, like, the, the Rock, he's one of those actors, he's not, it's hard to say he's not amazing. Yeah, that's true. That's... But he's, he's not amazing, if that makes sense. Like, he's no Academy Award winning actor. By any means. So he's no Vin Diesel. Got it. <laughs> Vin Diesel Academy Award winning? No, I don't think so. I mean, I like Vin Diesel too, but... Well, The Rock doesn't like Vin Diesel or vice versa. Oh, yeah, no, I, I heard about that. There. Holy crap. But The Rock is one of those people who just have that charisma to them that are entertaining. Again, you're not expecting greatness. Uh, let me see. The great one. Uh, you're not getting perfection or in-depth acting ability from him. You're getting action, charisma, and comedy. Yeah. And, I mean, that sounds like a lot, but... Those are things he does well, though. Right. Oh, God, I missed. Get in my mouth, army guy. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> this is not that kind of stream. Um, the Turbo toilet. What is the plot of the movie my assumption is something happens to the creatures they begin to grow bigger and bigger oh, no. and then the rock has to just face punch them yeah and save the day and save the city because only he knows the beasts because he was around them when they were smaller so he knows how to control them that's what i'm getting from the trailer i haven't really done a lot of research on the film itself yeah the only thing that i really walked away from the trailer with is that he was somehow connected to the, the gorilla and something crashed from space into wherever the gorilla was living. And so that's what's making him gigantic. And I guess the government, including Negan, is uh, doing some sort of pro uh, crazy experiment that they're calling Project Rampage. Uh, so that's where they get the name. Yeah, presumably this is going to wind up being some sort of like crazy, weird, uh, you know, make war kind of thing um was that a clam <laughs> giant clam on the ground um but so the the rock definitely does not know anything about the wolf or the lizard uh because I, I don't know well we've seen two in the trailer the right crocodile well we've seen we've all seen three the, did we see all three in the trailer yeah i don't remember the trailer yeah in the Beginning of the trailer, obviously, you've got regular sized gorilla and then giant sized gorilla about halfway right. through. Um, and then while the rock is like trying to calm down the gorilla, whose name I have forgotten at this point, uh, he's in the middle of like New York City or something. And you, you should eat more people, you're about to die. Yeah, I and I died. Oh, now I want to eat you. What does that do for me? Uh, for you, nothing. Do I get to come back? Nope. I do oh, get to come back. Well, Is there unlimited continues in this? Uh, you know, it has been a pr 
pretty long time since I've played this game. I don't even know how lives work. I want to say it's been 10 years for me since I played this game, to be honest. I think technically it doesn't even count as a loss unless we both die. Okay. So don't die. <laughs> Bonk. Um, but yeah, so he's in, like in the middle of the city, and then the wolf comes like crashing, like flying in. He's like, and he says, of, of course, course the wolf yeah, flies. Of course he flies. And then one of the other scenes in the uh, trailer is uh, the crocodile lizard thing swimming. Ah. Through the river. Oh, I didn't catch that. Yeah. Yeah, so we do get to see all three in the, Which, in the trailer. Which, this game doesn't have all three. The NES port doesn't. Um, World Tour did, as well as um, the arcade version of this. So you got yeah. all three in that. Um, other ports, I believe, ended up getting them. Oh, no, I missed completely. That's not cool. What, I breathe out of my fist? What was that about? No, no pictures. No press! What did I just say? So the controls are, I mean, a bit clunky. A bit, that's a nice way to put it. Did that tank just swim? Yeah, it sure did. That tank was aquatic. I feel like that's <laughs> not a thing. Uh, the Rock is a zookeeper who is super close to a gorilla, and some super evil company decides to do unauthorized testing on a bunch of animals for the genetic experiment, which causes a select few animals to mutate and grow ginormous and have special powers. Huh. Well, let's see. There you go. All right. That's more than I knew. I mean, honestly, though, like, I'm not going to go rush out and see it. For one, because I don't go to a lot of movies. <laughs> um, will I rent it? Yeah, I, I think it lands in the rent category for me. And not the musical. <laughs> How we gonna pay for Rampage the movie? No? Alright, I'll see myself out. Is that from Rent? Well, I mean, it was to the tune of the song from Rent. I see, I don't know any yeah, music from that. that. Call me a terrible person. You are an oh. person. Oh god, I missed. The bathtub. No, 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 <laughs> no. No, no, Get down oh, here, Chopper. Oh, I just slapped you. Get down here, Chopper 5. Chopper. I get back here. Get back, back, back. I don't know, I'm gonna eat that guy. I love it. It can't crumble all the buildings <laughs> they gotta, at a time. Sequence. It has to be in sequence because the graphics weren't good enough. Uh, this is just what I picked up from the trailers. I mean, that's... You picked up a lot from the trailers. Yeah. Like I said, the only thing I caught from the trailer was that The Rock was somehow connected to the monkey and the government was somehow connected to the other two due to what appeared to be weird alien technology experiments. So for those that don't know, that movie actually comes out tomorrow. So, um, Which is how we found ourselves here. We are not affiliated with it by any means. We're not getting endorsements. Um, I just felt it was good to kind of share this week with The Rock. We're just trying to cash in. Let's be real about it. <laughs> yeah, I want metadata. and We're relevant, too. Yeah. We. If The Rock can trend, we should trend. I agree. Especially, you know, with him not even appearing at WrestleMania like he should have. Yeah. What's up with that? Are you at Dwayne acting like you got other stuff to do? Yeah, because we have way more charisma than you. Also, okay. yes. You don't even, you have nothing on us. Okay. We'll challenge you to a match at Bring WrestleMania it. next year. <laughs> For reals. DNA versus The Rock. Three on one. <laughs> How bad do you think it's going to look when we lose? <laughs> we don't lose. <laughs> we always win. I'm pretty sure The Rock could bench press me. He could try. Oh, no. But then we would sue him. I need to eat. Because he harmed oh, innocent guys. people. Innocent's a strong way to put that. Bouncy, bouncy. Let me eat that dude. Wait, why did it make the wee 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 sound? Did, did something bad happen? I think I got bounced on. I think he bounced on my head. I, I, well, I mean, that's true. I definitely jumped on you. Ah, it fell again. Oh, no, look out! So while we're between levels here, if you look over to the thing... Camera. 
<laughs> the bottom of the screen Over is the sub goal. In case you didn't know, we've been promoting that for a little while. We've been making some great progress thanks to all our viewers. Uh, so thank you, but we are still asking for just a little bit more help. Why do you ask? That is a fantastic question. Mm. So the answer to that question is if we get 14 oh. more, count them. One, two, three, four. Uh -oh. oh, no. That was bad timing. Am I a lady? I don't know, but I just came back. Oh, yeah, me too. What the crap? So three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Oh, people? So that is how many we need. You just made me count to 14. I'm just That's thankful so we have 86, so I didn't have to count to 100. Have a really boring stream. People would have just checked out. They probably, or if you what were is he even dropped. doing? Looks like I'm smoking. Just... <laughs> Day 13. Still at large. Speaking of 13, this Friday is Friday the 13th. And what does that mean? It's a very special holiday for horror fans. Myself included. Yeah, that's a good one. Because I love horror movies and horror games. And there is a game that we're going to be playing that combines them both rather well. That game is none other than Friday the 13th, the game. So it'll be our 28th episode of the Weekly Dosage. We'll be live streaming here at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with the whole crew and possibly um, some viewers. I know there was mentions last night to uh, join up with us, so we're going to figure out the logistics of that, see if we can get some viewer uh, action going with that. Get some of that uh, community connection yes. going. Which is coming soon. Uh, yeah. uh, <laughs> I did, in fact. Well, what I, what I said was, am I a lady? Because I'm pretty sure the lizard is a lady. Uh, Eric says, I see how it is. Don't invite me to be a special guest. Eric, to be honest, if you watch the start of the show, I'm the special guest. That's true. This Rob, is my show. Yeah, Rob did the show without me this week. Besides which, you had your shot. He had his shot? Yeah. Tetanus, polio. Yeah. At least okay. I hope he had his head in the shots, especially after last weekend. Oof. If you know what I'm talking about, you should go dig back through our uh, weekly dosage archives and find out what that was about. Shameless plug here. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew says, I wasn't invited either, and I live here. Uh, that's true. Give me my orange juice. So Eric the Dead, think of a classic game. And you, too, can be a guest on Rob's show. Because I'm the guest this week. Maybe, maybe you can come lounge it up sometime. Yeah. Actually, that might work out perfect um, since you're going to be off for part of the month of May. So, hey. What happened? He's moving. No, not that. This. Oh. That, that level ended real fast. It's because we're terrible at life. We try. I don't know. I just dodged that missile like a champ. Anyway, um, he says, well, whatever, nope, not going to do it, mad at you. <laughs> hey, you did three whole episodes of uh, of the Weekly Dosage without me, friend. Well, we did some without him, too, though, to be fair. Shh. You're supposed to be on my side here. You're on my show. Hey, you did the three-second ten without you. That's true, too. This is hashtag bye. <laughs> I wasn't invited to that. Sarah says they didn't invite me either. I tried to invite you, Sarah. Rob said that was awkward. That's true. I'm trying to have a sausage party here. <laughs> have you seen that movie? I have not. You haven't seen that movie? No. Oh, it's so You cool. want to know something it's hilarious so about that, though? Oh, no, I ate the skull. That's super bad. That's not what's funny about that. Um, my older son, David, convinced his grandmother to take him to go see it in the theater. No. Oh, yeah. So that's the thing that happened. Get up there and eat that chicken. Chicken, chicken. Let me eat this bomb. Andrea says, hi, Amanda. Amanda's watching. Um, she must have jumped in on Facebook. 
We don't get the notifications unless you chat, Amanda. I chat. I chat. Chat about it. Chat about it. So many helicopters. Yeah, I don't like that. Oh, God. Why does he close his... Oh, because he doesn't want to see he's falling. Yum, yum, yum. I'm not doing so hot. You gotta eat more dudes, I keep telling you that. You just ha you have to just keep shoving guys in your mouth. Five guys? <laughs> I love shoving five guys in my five mouth. Guys. It's my favorite. <laughs> Their meat's so good. That is what she said. I'm talking about five guys burgers and fries. Sickos. Apparently that bath water was a little spicy. Ew. Stop throwing things at me. God. Didn't your mother teach you not to throw things? So I hope there's a point of this film that mimics this game in some way. Well, I mean, the previews definitely seem to show the... But I like... ...getting all up on the building. I mean, like, horribly, though. Like, really bad sound effects and graphics. Oh. Like, a scene, like... <laughs> oh, like they did in Doom? I was gonna say, like in Doom, yeah, where it was first person. Um, which was actually a really difficult sequence, from my understanding, back then. It was the first time that was done. It was like only a five minute sequence and it was like half the film's budget or something crazy. Really? What was so crazy about it, man? Stop it was first person. Wait, yeah. that's it? Yeah. And it resembled well, guess, a video game. I guess Doom was a long time ago now. I think it was like over 10, 12 years ago now. Dear internet, when did they release Doom the movie? Someone commented, when was Doom the movie released? See that? It, I swear to God, that looks like a clam. It's not. It was some dude opening a manhole cover, but it looked like a clam. Oh no, you punched me and I fell off. Oh, that was me? Okay. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. Sucker punched that helicopter. Ow! I need to do the do. Uh, worst video game movie ever House of the Dead. That was pretty bad. That's that's true. I, I think the only saving grace good. back when that came out is I believe it had uh, nudity in it. Yes, it did. So Not I, very much. I wouldn't call it a saving grace. I, I would actually almost count it as a mark against it because it was so brief and oddly placed. Like You remember it vividly. I, I, I vaguely remember it. No, 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 like, it, it stuck in my mind because... Because boobs? Well, also, yes. Um, we, you just, please, stop spazzing out and get down. Oh, my God. Get down, Wow, get that took down. half my health. Uh, no, 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 it stuck out in my mind because it happened, like, the, at least the bit of it that I do directly remember happens pretty early in the movie, and uh, I'm probably about to die. Oh, no, I lived, because I'm awesome. And it happens because, like, frat girl gets puked on. And what? so she goes in the cabin of the boat and, uh, like, <laughs> takes her shirt off so that she can clean off the vomit. 2005. 2005, wow. Yeah, 13 years ago. That's yeah. a lot of that going around right now. Did you see, uh, I, I posted in Dersh 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 I just... That was a stroke and a half there. Uh, I posted of in Dose of Nerd Acumen to the group about the 13th anniversary of Goofy Movie. Oh, God. 13th? It's older than that. 23rd, sorry. I was going to say. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I got hung up on the, on the 13th. It was 23, 23 years ago. Yeah, give me them dollars. That's just craziness. What the Why shit? did you appear on the left side of the screen? I, does this game have scan through, or did it just freak out? I think it freaked out. It, it definitely freaked out. That was weird. I don't think I've ever seen it do that before. All right. So, obviously, House of the Dead, great video game series. Possibly, if not the worst uh, adaptation. What are some good ones? Since we're talking video game movies, that's kind of the topic here. What ones are your favorites? Even Guilty Pleasures. A uh, guilty pleasure, I gotta say, is probably uh, the Angelina Jolie Tomb Raider movies. Yeah, I agree. I haven't seen the new one yet. I do want to see it. I haven't it. seen it yet either, but I heard not fantastic things. Okay, see, this is what I'm talking about. Look at, look at, look at. The lizard is a lady. Stop trying to eat me. 
It's messed up, man. <laughs> but you look so tasty. Um, favorite video game movie would be the Resident Evil franchise. See, I would qualify those as guilty pleasure too, if I'm being perfectly honest. I mean, sure, I could see that, but I I absolutely love those films, and I think they're great. I think there's minimal flaws in them. I suppose besides really... the obvious unrelation to a lot of the source material. Yeah, I was gonna say it really depends <laughs> on how you're qualifying this. Uh, it's films themselves with zombies, amazing. Um, I feel like you can't really discuss good or bad video game movie adaptations without bringing up uh, Final Fantasy. Because you've Which got one? Advent, Advent Children, and Spirits Within. Um, sure. and, and I say and because I feel like they so, both they fall on both ends of the both ends of the spectrum. Here's the thing about those though, I think animated or CG, it still falls in that category as a game to me though, because it feels like cutscene the movie. Well, yeah, but there's no interactivity, so I feel like it. Sure, you sure. Lose the. But the game same could be said for Metal Gear. <laughs> Half the game is a movie. I have said that about Metal Gear. Everybody told me, get Metal Gear Solid 4. It's one of the best games in the history of games. you got to play it. It is and, fantastic. I mean, to its More credit, so it was if a you lot played of fun, the first one. But first one on PS1, that is. It, it blew my mind that the first 45 minutes to an hour of game only included a grand total of like six minutes of gameplay. Yeah. And that's not an exaggeration is the problem. I just ate a toilet. <laughs> That's a spicy meatball. That's a super gross joke now. Apparently cactuses are spicy. Stop eating toilets! So, Resident Evil also had some uh, animated movies, um, which are solid. I actually never saw the animated ones. Really? I, 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 I kept meaning to. I don't remember why I didn't get around to it. DNA Movie Marathon. Who wants Damn. to come? I'm just going to rent out a theater one day. That'd be duped. For a hundredth episode. That would be kind of badass, honestly. Somebody help us make that happen. Our 100th episode, which is another year and a half away. Don't forget Kingsglaive. Uh, Kingsglaive, you know, if you bought the special edition of Final Fantasy XV, Kingsglaive came with it. Um, and Actually, all it is, is, all it is, is it fills in the story of the game. It sets up the story better. It's kind of a, a like a, a prequel. Uh, yeah, an intro. To it. Right on. Um, the great story. Again, 15 is, as a story, is good. Um, it's just a lot of grind. Final Fantasy, right? Grind. Yeah, yeah. Um, just, I don't know. I didn't love 15 like I thought I would. Like, I enjoyed it, but I didn't love it like I thought I would. I actually was so turned off by what I heard about 13 that I never even played 15. I didn't even buy 15. I, I had 15 day one. Uh, I enjoyed 13, though, for what it was. I had a lot of negative things to say for it, but if you remove it from Final Fantasy mm -hmm. and your expectations of a Final Fantasy game, it's a good game. I don't know how you do that, though, with the name Final Fantasy it's very difficult. firmly plastered all over it. It's very difficult. Like, it is the selling point of the game. Sure. And the a lot of people didn't get into the characters. I really enjoy the characters. Eat the freaking chicken. Why Has anyone so seen the Silent Hill films? Uh, actually, I was about to say, once we wrapped up on that, uh, Pat said he enjoyed Resident Evil, but he uh, also enjoyed Silent Hill. I enjoyed it, but they they changed a lot of the content of it. What, you mean it doesn't have some wacky uh, twist ending where it turns out... Like a witch story? Uh, Shiba Inu was controlling everything from a secret control room? Yeah, that's quite strange. I wonder those those are old movies too. Those are at least twelve to thirteen years old already. Silent Hill, yeah. Which blows my mind. You know what I'm talking about though, right? With the Shiba Inu. Mm. In I wanna say Silent Hill two, there was a, a secret ending where you had to beat the game and then beat it again in some super difficult way. Uh, and it would give you some key at the beginning of the game which would, would let you get into some room that was otherwise locked. And in that room was just a Shiba Inu dog sitting at a control panel wearing a headset, flipping switches and stuff. And then your main character is like, It was you all along? <laughs> Credits. No. Yeah, dude, for real. And this is 100% legit. This isn't some, like, 
And that's Sephiroth one of the, kills Tifa instead. That's one of the scariest games of all time, considerably. Yeah, it's, considered. it's such a goofy ending. Uh, you said the same thing about 13. Which which thing did you say about 13? That. I seen we had um, during a stream yesterday, too, a lot of requests for horror games. Yeah, um, so, most of them came from the same guy, but... You know. So I believe that was Henry? Yeah. So Henry, if you're watching this, whether on demand or live right now, um, horror games are coming. This October is going to be 100% horror month. Every single night, including maybe weekends, we're going to have content for you all 31 days. And that is a promise. That is a bold statement. Well, it might be pre-recorded. <laughs> but we're going to have content, damn it. Some of the games are going to be the Evil Within franchise. I'm very excited to play some of Evil Within 2, as well as possibly 1. Um, I have Costume Quest 1 and 2 on my docket of games I want to share with everyone. Um, Does that count as horror? It looks so cartoony. I haven't played it. It's not horror, but it's Halloween oh, related. Okay. okay. No, and that's fair. I'll it's, give you it's, that. It's a turn-based game with candy. Like, right it's freaking dope. And it's by the company that we've talked about uh, a couple times. Um... I'm gonna double fine, is it? Um, I think they had involvement in the first one. Double find it? I want to say they did. Maybe not. Correct me if I'm wrong, someone. It, yeah, I might I be getting know. confused with some some other game then. No, no, no. It might be double fine. I don't know. Someone correct me, because now I feel like I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> someone correct me. Even if I'm right, tell me I'm wrong. Oh, so yeah, Hall Halloween is my favorite holiday. Um, and, and it's going to be a very exciting time of year for uh, this channel just because of the content that we're going to be putting out. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to play. Well, uh, it's going to be difficult because the game that comes out around that time is Red Dead 2. And I think all three of us are going to be wanting to kill each other to play it on stream. Yeah. So we might have to flip a three-sided coin somehow. <laughs> or roll a dice. Rock, paper, scissors? Something. I don't know what we're going to end up doing. Um, I'm sure fall is going to be... Because we got started last fall, and we started kind of with games was already in mind. October? Yeah, Which? it was October 2nd or 5th. That week was our first ever stream. Um, our first live stream was actually Destiny 2. Uh, Eric, yeah. Eric, Eric the Dead that. was... The I was one. on that one. Were you really? Yeah. That's You were playing with him? Yeah. So you... <laughs> you played with Eric before I even started the weekly dosage on our own channel. Nice. So before you were a part of it, you debuted it. Yeah. That's hilarious. I've been here since the beginning. Before me. Coming up from the <laughs> ground. That's funny. <laughs> you know, I had, I had not actually considered until just now that that was our first live stream. Yeah, that was our first live stream. It held for months until The Sims 4, being the most watched stream we had. Yeah. Yeah, it's still pretty high in the, it's in the top rankings. five yeah. in the rankings. So, nice job, Eric the Dead. You set the bar rather high. I feel like we should, with the new update to Destiny 2, maybe we should just suck it up and go back to the game for a little bit. Community night? Maybe. I own it. Uh, However, I think I own it on the Xbox One. You would. Yeah. You're on the wrong side of history here, LaRue. Yeah, you know. I want to eat that clam. And I don't like it enough to buy it again. Sorry. I'm going to be really honest with you. Uh, I probably wouldn't either. I'm bitter about the first one still. And I only bought the second one because I felt I was going to play it with friends. So. I actually... I was really bitter about the first one back when it first came out. But then after the second expansion... And now, let me be clear when I say this. Um... I was so far removed from the game by the time the second expansion came out that it was almost like I never played the game in the first place. You know well, sure, I mean? they reinvented the game, and don't get me wrong, they, they put a lot of effort into it, and I'm not discounting that. The thing that really turned me off about Bungie's approach to it, and I don't know if it was Bungie or Activision or whose involvement, um, but the fact that they had the downloadable content for the first two expansions on disc already, that really bummed me out. And I say that every time I talk about the game because it still bums yeah. me out to this day. You're asking me for 35 extra dollars for kilobytes in a download because all it was is a patch to unlock the game. That's frustrating. And 
clearly, I don't know why more people weren't up in arms about that, but we're up in arms so heavily at Star Wars. Oh, last I know. Fall. Which, have you played that? I new have, updates? I haven't played it, but I saw what they did. Overhaul like, the whole leveling whole system. New, it's a whole new game. Whole new game, so much better. So much better. I actually, I logged in long enough to open some crates. I'm going to be really honest with you, it kind of made me angry. <laughs> because I had dumped a lot of time and uh, and credits into unlocking stuff to that point. And then, like, I get that I get to keep it. So that's supposed to be, like, my thank you for, for doing that since it's you know, potential that I could have uh, stuff unlocked way further down the path that I technically have any right to. Well, right. You know what I mean? Based on the new progression system. But I've also got, like, 30,000 credits or something stupid. Yeah, that's where I'm floating around, 30,000. And I unlocked all the characters. And, like, what do I do with the? Well, you don't have to unlock the characters anymore. Everybody's no, unlocked everybody's unlocked now. So the so individual the whole argument about Darth Vader and Luke from our uh, our Star Wars episode way back in the day. Well, that removes everyone's anger too. Like, there's no reason now to hate on that game. The stuff that they put into it, visually and just content related, it, I don't know. It's great. Well, but I think the fun thing is now is to hate Star Wars. Like, does that sound weird? No, no, I I would agree with that. A lot of people do. Like I came out of Last Jedi with my own beefs. Oh, I about had I character had, progression yeah. and things. Um, I mean, even so, Mark Hamill is not so pleased with. <laughs> well, what's funny portrayal. about that is that he he said that about it going into the movie, like before he before it even came out, mm -hmm. and then after it came out, he was like, "Well, now that I saw it, it's okay." And I'm like, "No, Mark, we were on the same side. Right. Stay there." Now he's on the dark side. Well, he's on the other side either way. Spoiler alert. Um, anyway. Um, well, that's not a spoiler. I'm just saying he's the dark side because he No, no, no that's not what it, Yeah, I, I was saying the other side because he dies. But seriously, if you ain't I didn't seen, spoil it. You spoil it. Yeah. yeah uh, Snape kills Dumbledore. Okay. Oh, that's, that's that's how I'm feeling right now. Next week on Classics <laughs> Lounge <laughs> is actually a classic. We're figuring out the logistics because next week is a very special week. It is God of War week. Oh, Somebody yeah, has been chomping at the bit. I am dying for waiting next for week, right Friday. Now. So, not sure the logistics, but there will be a God of War game or games throughout the week. Next week, every night Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then ending the week with the unboxing of the special edition and console version, correct? Yes. Or just, sir. Okay. Um, of. God of War, the new God of War that the, is for the PS4. It, specifically the PS4 Pro bundle, yes, but also the uh, Stone Mason Stone Mason edition of the game, because there are multiple uh, special editions. So it's a Pro console that comes with it. Do they even yeah. bundle the regular PS4 anymore, or is that discontinued? Uh, I think the regular one's gone at this point. Okay, because they have the Slim. Yeah. Rumor has it too, speaking of PlayStation, that. Obviously, the day a console launches, people are already talking about the next one. Mm. We are five years this fall into this console life cycle. Five years. That so is the crazy. average console life cycle. Four to six, really. Before the next ones at are least announced. announced. Yeah. So fully expect that the rumors are becoming a little bit more accurate. I truly expect by 2019 or 2020, we have a PS5 on the shelf. Not sure who'll have it, but bold prediction. Yeah, you heard it here first. What what's weak, Eric? What's weak? Yeah, he said hashtag weak, and I didn't. I don't know what he's referring to. It's got a war week? Because you spelled uh, weak wrong. <laughs> Can I punch a cloud? Apparently not. We're playing the wrong game for that. If you want to do that. One of the Mario games? Final Fantasy. Oh yeah, I could punch cloud. Uh, what was that, Urguys? You ever play that game? Huh. That was the unofficial, not actually, stop eating the skulls, um, not Final Fantasy fighting game on the PlayStation 1, 
that just so happened to include Cloud and Sephiroth. Oops. Really? Yeah. It was a very weird game. I did not care for it at all. I wanted to like it. Especially because you could play as Cloud and Sephiroth. Oh. Oh, did you unmonkey? I unmonkeyed the monkey. I told you to eat people. Well, I'm eating them all. I put everything in my mouth. You gotta. <laughs> I think that's my problem. You I gotta, see it and I gotta put it in my mouth. You gotta be better about your diet, buddy. No. Have you seen me? <laughs> Why can't I sucker punch that helicopter? Like Taco Bell, I'm like, uh, left side of the menu, please. Sir, that's 37. I said left side of the menu. It's true, baby. No, the chicken. dynamite at me. That's irresponsible. <laughs> Just hawking dynamite in the city. So that means on Classics Lounge next week you'll see for the first time ever something from probably the PS2 era on the show. Um, which is crazy to think about. So we're talking mid-2000s. Oh, man. It's super weird to me. PS2, the best uh, selling console of all time? You know, I get it. I do, but it bums me out. Speaking of best, this week is episode 28, as we already mentioned, of the weekly dosage, meaning we are two episodes away from a very special Dirty 30. No, we're not going to get dirty, but we are going to get top 30. Aren't we already kind of dirty? Yeah, so that's expected at this point. So I've asked the rest of my crew members to fill out what they think is their favorite or top 30 games of all time. I encourage you all to do the same, and there is going to be a link that we're going to post to the public. It's a Google form where you can submit your top 30 games of all time from any console, computer, you name it. If it's the best... We need to know what it is. So far, the only person to submit their list was Eric. So thank you for doing your homework on time. I'm working on it. I haven't even started mine yet. It's such a hard thing to do. It's not easy. I mean, like I've got a couple of games that I, I absolutely know are going in that list, especially in high slots. But, you know, and if you've been watching the archives, you already know what some of them are. It's true. Why is Michigan so deformed? I know, it looks like a weird hand. Missing fingers. Um, yeah, if you've been watching the uh, stuff we've been playing, even the Classics Lounge here, a lot of the games that are my favorite, we've already played. And uh, just in the course of the weekly dosage, I've talked multiple times about some of those games for me. Like, I can tell you absolutely certainly that I've said at least two of my top fives. No question. How come when we fall it hurts us, but when we jump from the same height? You know, I wondered the same thing. <laughs> Maybe it's because we're like too scared to look down so we're not able to brace for impact. Eric says, yeah, whatever. What are you whatevering? Seriously, you can't just like comment on stuff and then not explain what you're commenting on and then expect us to have any idea what's going on, buddy. Yeah, I'm feeding you compliments here, man. What the heck? I think he's yeah, whatever, because you were like, Eric's the only one that turned it in. Thanks, Eric. And he's like, Rrr. dude, I was saying thank you. He could just, I could have been like, Eric's the only one that won't ever do it. Ooh. But he did, so he proved me wrong. See, saying that he proved you wrong sort of implies that you were going to say that. <laughs> no, honestly, I, I thought it was going to be... Uh, like, the day before, we're all scrambling to do it. It'll probably still be me that's trying to figure it out the day before. Yeah, every time I think about it, I'm just like, I can't even... It's intimidating. I don't know what to do. It's intimidating. Especially when you consider the, the enormous library of games I've played. Yeah. Because I, I don't even necessarily define games that I think are my favorite or are the best based on whether or not I completed them because if that was the case I couldn't even finish the 30 game list 
I mean, that's not true, but everybody makes fun of me for buying a shit ton of stuff and never finishing any of it, so... Well, that's I just getting older, man. I of myself. Like, the problem is, is not the fact that you don't want to finish it. For me, it's always been the timing problem. And the, the other issue I've always had with the gaming industry, stop releasing 40 games I want to play in the month of October and November. That's true. Stop that. Like, if we could get at least a, a, a wider spread, maybe at least over six months instead of two, maybe I could get around to finishing some more stuff. Yeah, I just need like six months off of life and responsibility. And I can catch up on my backlog. Hey, we actually killed the building this time. He says, in response to your comment about commenting on things and or fall, it takes 20 minutes for the comments to show up. I specifically put a delay on your comments. You could do that. Yeah. I didn't do that, though. I'm not going to say that I did. <laughs> Ah, I keep eating everything. Stop putting everything in your mouth. <laughs> oh, oh, no. I don't know what I just ate, but it made me vibrate for a second. <laughs> Electric. Could you imagine the NES controller back in the day having like a rumble pack built into it? No. That would have been awesome. I saved you. You're welcome. Oh. Thank you. I got up underneath you. You bounced off me. <laughs> Whoa. Awkward. Did you even realize we're on day 44? I surely did not. We're just plowing through this. I think there's, what, 100 and something days? Is there even a difficulty setting in this game? No. You just play. Because oh. it's ported from an arcade. The idea is you put more quarters in when you die. Oh, right on. Yeah, that, that's... <laughs> yeah. Stop bouncing on my face! <laughs> Uh, someone look that up. How many levels are in Rampage on the NES? We need to find specifically that one. I want to see if it's doable for us to finish this game on stream. I guess I just punched you in the face and you died. I did. I'm back. <laughs> Why is this level not over? There we go. Still at large. Very large. Man, look at just all the variety in these levels, man. This building here, it's green. <laughs> this is the kind of thing that cracks me up thinking about, like, oh, come here, clam. Yeah, I got him. Thinking about all the stuff that we uh, accepted growing up. Oh, you didn't know any better. Well, yeah. like We didn't know what the first, future was going to be like. When this game first came out, I remember being absolutely blown away. I remember just the silhouette of the uh, skyline. This, yeah, the this. skyline. I'm like, that's so beautiful. City, yeah, what city is that? I think I recognize that one. And it's not accurate for anything. Uh, you must have ate broccoli. Is that is it trying to explain why I vibrated? <laughs> I'm confused. I think that's what that one was. Give me that ice cream sundae that looks like it has a hot dog in it for some reason. I'm not even sure that it is ice cream. I want ice cream now. I always want ice cream. You don't want me to want ice cream though. Why not? I have lactose issues. <laughs> and it is not that I lactose. You have toast? I have toast. I also have toast. I mean, not like on me. Kind of smallish. Unlike the original arcade game, most of the home ports, such as the NES, Sega, and Atari Lynx versions, actually end rather than repeating levels end endlessly. Haven't found an actual level count yet. Yeah. I was trying to find one myself earlier. I'm just getting an idea. But I read the same thing on Wikipedia about this game. I didn't. I couldn't find an exact count. Whoop that train's ass. That's a weird thing to say. <laughs> there, are those cacti in the background of the mountains? Like, what is this? Uh, that is what it looks like, yeah. Okay, where are we? 
Uh, somewhere southwest. Southwest, southwest. Well, no, no, no. It's got to be Midwest at this point. We cleared out the entire south. Yeah, Richmond. Virginia don't have no friggin' cacti. But do they have cactar? Eh? From Final Fantasy. What's Final Fantasy? Ah, Travis. <laughs> I really don't know what I'm going to play for October, though. Really? Yeah. I know what I'm going to play for um, around the 4th of July. Yeah? It's not Duke Nukem you're doing it wrong. Did you see John Cena's going to play uh, Duke Nukem? I did, and I'm <laughs> undecided. I mean, it's not going to be good either way. <laughs> it's well, so Duke that's Nukem. The thing. Do I want to let poor John Cena tarnish his reputation on it? What reputation? Ooh. Yes, yeah, right. I'm challenging you to match at WrestleMania. <laughs> John Cena and The Rock versus DNA two on three. Oh, damn. This match is not <laughs> getting any better. You think you had it bad this year in your two minutes and 38 seconds? I'm going to beat you in under two. Oh, man. That just... Okay, Undertaker is far and away probably my favorite wrestler of all time. That was a sad showing. It was, and it like the worst part is that like it's it was so... better than his showing against Reigns at last year's WrestleMania. It just was unnecessary. I think that's what the problem with this whole build-up was for it. Yeah. Unnecessary. Well, see, so there was all that speculation that he was going to come back as the American Badass, and I could have accepted that. He should have. Simply because it would have been something else. And we could have left the dead man where he belonged in the middle of the ring at WrestleMania 34. Yep. Would have been better, but no. We needed two and a half minutes. And now he's going to come back and fight Rusev in a casket match? We put him in a casket and move on. If he buries Rusev... The thing is, he's not. The fans are still over him. Or all about him, I guess. Who, Rusev? Yeah. I don't like him, but the fans love him. I feel like you're probably on the wrong side of history on that one, too, there, Trev. You don't think fans like him? No, 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 I'm not liking him yourself, I mean. Watch Total Divas, you'll understand. If you respect women. Well, what if we don't? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> All right, let's not even go there, because I'm totally... Um, although that does uh, bring up an interesting conversational point for another time. Probably not on the screen, because it's pretty hyper-political. Um, but like, where do you draw the line between a performer's personal life and their professional appearances? Because like, everybody was like, "Fuck Metallica! I hope that band never records another song ever again." Back during the whole Napster thing, you know what I mean? Well, the problem with wrestling is you live in the reality area now, so you know you don't know what's character and what's not anymore. Yeah. So that's his character on the Total Diva show too. His character's a piece of garbage. No. But the thing is, like, I don't know. I guess I don't know how to answer that question. Uh, like I said, this, this may not be a question for on camera. Um, but it is an interesting topic. Like, where do you draw that line? I don't think I do, because if you're in the celebrity spotlight, you have a role to play. Sure, I guess. Why are we just doing the border? And then are we going to circle back? Why is California still red? I'm confused. Or Manhattan. This so you, is Manhattan. Oh, see the Statue of Liberty? Yeah, all the way in the back there. So you could have asked that on stream, sweetheart. Uh, we're playing the uh, the NES version. Did we say that at the outside of the episode? I thought we did. Yeah, I think so. Uppercut. Um. Yeah, because I straight up didn't even see that message. We missed one? No, no, no. She messaged me privately on Facebook oh. to ask what version of the game we're playing because it's relevant for the level count. Right, right, right. And I didn't see the Facebook message. It's putting the boy in bed. My boy's already in bed. He was sick today. Was he sick today or was he sick of today? I don't know. Because <laughs> when I got home, he was playing. He seemed fine. Oh, look at that. Did ridiculous. you see all that dodging? I was ducking, dipping, diving, and dodging. I think you just wanted to give Daddy a half day tomorrow. 
I want a half day tomorrow. Oh right. crap. <laughs> I would have preferred a half day on Friday, but tomorrow will do. Yeah, what are you going to do? Give me that chicken. Chicken. Oh my god, break. How much more building is there? Oh, it's because that one's dying. Yeah. Only eight bits, bro. Punch him in his bits. Oh, all eight of them. Oof. I hope there's that. I, I hope they're just jumping on each other. Well, jumping on each other and then eating something and then like blowing out fire in disgust because <laughs> it was something they shouldn't have eaten. Or busting open a thing and seeing someone in a bathtub. That's another thing yeah. that should be in there. Ow. Oh. Look, what what you, look what you've done. Oh no! Thanks. I saw the lady in the, in the tub. That's why I freaked out. <laughs> NES version should have 128 days. Jesus, we're not even halfway. We're not going to finish this in the stream. That's a great screenshot, though. <laughs> Day 55. Wait, what did that say? During a jump hold what? Oh, what was that? What'd you do? I don't even bounce off of something. Oh, apparently you can keep jumping if you jump. <laughs> I don't know. I like how that business dude like leans out the window like, hey, knock it off. We're trying to do business in here. I'm trying to do paper. <laughs> Not even paperwork, just trying to do paper. <laughs> just paper. Oh. Remember the the Rugrats, their interpretation of uh, pushing paper? Uh, I do not know. It was them wanting to go to work, and they were just in this giant room with brooms, and uh, they were sweeping paper, because they thought that's what they did as adults. Huh. Uh, I was a big fan oh, of... Oh, paper pushing, yeah. Yeah. Want to eat well? Punch slower. What? That's what the hint said. Want to eat well? Punch slower. Oh, I'm going to die. So since we're on the topic of Rampage tonight, obviously there's oh, not a lot awesome. to show beyond what we've shown in this game. Yeah, there's not like any uh, hidden secrets coming up. Yeah, this it's it's the same grind for, for what we found out here, 128 levels. Um, and then it, it ends, you just kind of stop, I guess. I, I don't think I... I think I maybe beat this game once. Um, I think, like, just congratulations, you wrecked everything. Yeah. Oh, no. So. Oh, no, I died. Since The Rock is in it, we could talk forever, and this is the inappropriate show for it. Um, we're not going to talk about The Rock's wrestling career, because we have a show called The Three Second Tan, um, which you can check out on demand on our YouTube channel. Which you should, sub 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 Bluetooth hit that. you should subscribe to right now so you can get notifications of when we all go live. Also, it'll help us out towards our goal of hitting 100 subs. Meaning we can get a custom URL so I can say youtube.com slash dose of nerd acumen. Which is a lot easier than the URL they've provided us with. Because for right now which we're... Which is channel slash UGQ you forget from him. It's true. So for now, we just tell you to kind of go to the YouTube and search for us, which is not a really great way. Um, even though you'll find us, it's just creating extra effort for you. And let's be honest, people are lazy, and if it's too much effort, people are just ain't going to do it. Yep. And I ain't mad at you about that. We're all a victim of it. But anyway, what I do want to talk about is... We, the yeah, it's the, okay. Well, the dog, not, not the neighbor themselves. <laughs> the neighbor's just in the backyard. <laughs> <laughs> I do that sometimes. So I could see that. Yeah. So really, I kind of want to have the last topic here, since The Rock's the star, and it's a movie. What are some of his greatest film moments, and what are some of his worst film moments? Hmm. Chime in if you got... Anything to add of value or even any comments whatsoever? 
I would say, um, uh, what's the movie? Uh, Scorpion King. Uh, speaking of worst moments, <laughs> um, CG. No, he was walking tall. Walk tall. Stand tall. Something uh, walking tall. tall. Where's Buford Pusser? Mm. That was a great movie. What is it? Walking Tall. What was the other one that came out around that time? So he had two. Uh, the Rundown. The Rundown with Sean William Scott, which was also fun. Yeah, I liked both of those movies. Mm -hmm. uh, the Rundown was arguably more a Sean William Scott movie. Yeah. It's just The Rock was more memorable to me. Well, I mean, the story was around The Rock, but it was really around Sean William Scott, it, it, which is why I say arguably, because it's uh, the movie is about The Rock's character being a bounty hunter and being tasked to go find... Find him. Sean William Scott, and then the whole rest of the movie is him being like, I don't want to go. <laughs> um, and then shenanigans ensue. Um, you know one of my favorite things about... Uh, Walking Tall, though, aside, obviously, from The Rock being awesome in it, is uh, I always kind of hated Jackass. What? I know. I, unpopular opinion, opinion Puffin. But uh, I, I've never liked it. I, I always felt like that kind of stuff was... Like, you're just being obnoxious for being obnoxious sake, and I kind of... I hate that kind of stuff. They're doing things, though, that I don't want to do, but I really want to watch people do. <laughs> Which, you know, and I don't begrudge anybody liking it, but it's just never been my cup of tea. And so I just always assumed Johnny Knoxville was kind of a hack. And uh, seeing him in Walking Tall, I was like, okay, no, this dude's all right. Um, and then, of course, you know, he was in that awful movie, uh, um, The Ringer. Oh, <laughs> The Ringer is funny. I loved that movie. That's a guilty pleasure movie. It's a bad movie. But yeah, no, I it's not great. It. it was a ripoff, a blatant ripoff of a South Park episode. Like some what? of it shot for shot. The Special Olympics episode of South Park? Yeah, I was just trying to remember which one of those came out first. The South Park episode did. Are you sure? Almost 100% positive. So I mean, fact I, check me here. I was going to say, I'm actually willing to accept that. Uh, Pat, if you're still watching, I feel like you you know that off the top of your head. Whether Johnny Knoxville's The Ringer came out before or after the Special Olympics episode of South Park, they were they were definitely within a somewhat similar time frame. I'll say that for sure. Yeah, very close. Within a couple of years. But of I'm I'm other, saying South Park most. did it first. Simpsons did it. <laughs> Speaking of great episodes of things, that is just a phenomenal episode of South Park. Um, Take it to the limit. Der. <laughs> uh, I shouldn't make fun of it. <laughs> you really should not. We're trying to gain viewers here. <laughs> yeah, but it was it was in the, the con context of a South Park episode I wasn't yeah. making fun of. Um anyone. I mean what else what else You're has he really here. been in? The Rock? Yeah. He's been in so many movies. Like not main roles, but um And he was in Doom, we covered that earlier. I mean, you got me curious now. So we'll I mean, run. Gonna be a, we'll run down his IMDb history. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be crazy extensive. I know that. Filmography. You'd be surprised, though. Well, I mean, there, there's going to be a huge list in there because it, it includes all his appearances on WWE. So, the Mummy Returns. Awful. It was one of his, yeah, not great. Uh, Scorpion King, which Absolute actually featured best. him you know, as him. As him. Uh, the Rundown, Walking Tall, Be Cool. He had the cameo. Well, not cameo, but, but he's on the cover of that movie. Yeah, he had. A, I never saw it though. It was pretty good. Um, Wasn't that the sequel? There was a sequel. To, like Get Shorty. Yeah. Which I also never saw. Definitely worth watching. Um, Doom, back in two thousand five. Uh, Gridiron Gang. Reno 911, he had the cameo, which a lot of people had cameo in that movie, which I didn't realize that that movie was that old already. It's mm -hmm. crazy. That show was great. It was a show I never really got into. Oh, so great. That was largely one of those, I missed it, though. You know what I mean? It's worth going back and watching. Oh, isn't, the, isn't Nick Swartzen in that? Yes, 
he uh, is a, always getting arrested for roller skating and doing other things. Um, oh yeah, no, we did not say Moana. We haven't gotten that far yet. Yeah, I got that far. Yeah. Okay, um, focus up here, buddy. Search box. Southland Tales, the game plan: get smart, race to Witch Mountain. I think that's one of his downfalls. It was like that period of time where they had to separate themselves from other things and do kids' movies. And the same thing with like Vin Diesel was doing too. The Planet Fi- Fire. Yeah, Planet 51, Tooth Fairy. Planet 51? Is uh, animated. Um, I don't know that one. Tooth Fairy, which is again another. Bleh. Um, I Why mean, Did I Get really Married 2? You're not really the target audience for Tooth Fairy, let's be real. Here. Sure, sure. I mean, I get it. You gotta try to branch out. Uh, the other guys, you again. Oh, the other guys was good. Faster, um, not to be confused with Fast Five. <laughs> um, the Fast yeah. and Furious movies, I'm not a big fan of. A lot of people hate me for that, but I just those aren't for me. Uh, Journey well, to the know. Mysterious Island. Um, well, I just went through the screen. Uh, Snitch, GI Joe Retaliation, which here he's returning to the action roles. Um, uh, I've not actually seen any of the G.I. Joe movies. Are those any good? They're okay. Ow. They're okay. They're Jeez, that tank is just trashing me. Um, it's okay, I got it. Pain and Gain, which is all right. Uh, is that the one with... Uh, they're trying to rob a dude in a high-rise apartment or something? Yeah. Him and, what is it, Mark Wahlberg? Mark Wahlberg. Some stand-up comedian. Uh, not Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart? Is it Kevin Hart? I don't know. I'm confusing movies now. Um, Fast and Furious 6, Empire State, Hercules, Fear okay, 7. Well, pain and Gain. A movie I liked was San Andreas, but I'm, I'm a fan of disaster movies. So. Oh, it's Anthony Mackie and Tony Shalhoub were the other two guys in that movie. Yeah. So not a stand-up comedian. That's another uh, underrated guy, I think, Anthony Mackie. I'd have to see a face. Uh, Falcon. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not good with names a lot of times, to be honest. Sure, sure. Um, San Andreas was great, but... Uh, I never saw that. I, I like disaster. That about? Disaster movie. It's the San Andreas fault. Oh, right on. Every time the preview came on, I just went, this is not Grand Theft Auto. You yeah, know, it's, it's, it's the fault line. Um, I just like disaster movies, and special effects, watching a city blow up is cool to me. 2012 was the same thing. It was a crappy movie, but I enjoyed the special effects. So Day After Tomorrow? Day After Tomorrow, another crappy movie that I enjoyed. Um, Gem and the Holograms. Central Intelligence was actually pretty funny. He was in Gem and the Holograms? He played himself a cameo. Oh, okay. Central Intelligence. Um, that's the one where... it. That's him and Kevin Hart. That's him and Kevin Hart. See, I was, like yeah. I said, I was getting things confused. Yeah. Um, They've got the whole role reversal thing going on for that one. And Kevin Hart's the guy that's part of the... Yeah. That was a fun the movie. Spy move, fast Spy Guy or something. Yeah, I, I enjoyed that. that. Um, I meant to. I just it's when he was, like, the fat kid, like, growing up. Where they had the special effects where he was, like, the big guy. Oh, the, uh, the Rock was the fat guy? Yeah. Growing up. And then now he's all, like, muscular and whatnot. Um, Moana, obviously, really good one. Uh, Fate of the Furious, Baywatch, um, Jumanji. I haven't seen that yet, but I heard decent things about that. I was talking to somebody about it earlier today, and I was like, I heard really good things about it. And they were like, mm. Like, well, really? Eric went and seen it. He said it was good. Yeah, yeah, Eric said it was good. So. And I generally trust Eric's opinion on things. We we don't always 100% agree, but uh, often enough. I just like the original Jumanji a lot, so I don't know. Why are you saying it? What? You're saying Jumanji. Well, like how do you say a, the, Like there's a U. It's Jumanji. Jumanji. With Jumanji. an A. Jumanji. Jumanji. Like Fromanda. <laughs> Jumanji. 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 I say words different, all right? <laughs> Damn. Um, I haven't seen it yet. I plan on seeing it. Which? Jum- the new one? Jumanji. Jumanji. The one where they drink milk? Damn it. I'm done. <laughs> Eric, you want to come on the show now? <laughs> he ain't watching no more. No, he tuned out because we didn't invite him. Yeah, he hashtagged out. It's like an hour ago. Uh, obviously, Rampage. Um, there's some new movies coming out with The Rock. One called Skyscraper. 
Which, you know, of course... Is there another disaster movie? I, I don't think so, yeah. I'm not going to lie. The promo has him, like, jumping from a ladder all, all the way across to the skyscraper. Yeah, I saw a bunch of stuff. And they had, like, the diagrams on stuff on how it's not possible for yeah. him to make that jump. Like, I thought he that totally was... died. Like, there's literally no way mathematically he makes yeah. this jump. I thought that was hilarious. I, yeah, it made me laugh, too. Um, fighting with my family. That's the one with Paige. Yeah, the one that they heavily promoted. Which Yeah, every five seconds. Oh, God. I'm tired of the ads. We get it. Speaking of ads, down at the bottom of our screen is a sub-goal for our YouTube channel. We need to get to 100 to get a custom URL offered to us. We really want to get that. So if there are 14 of you out there, help us out. As well as check us out on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook.com, slash Dose of Nerd Acumen. We're on those things, too. We're also on twitch.tv slash dose of nerd acumen. And that's it for right now. Basically, if it's social media, if you search for us, there's a 60-75% chance we're on there somewhere. Yeah, we got you covered. So come check out our cool photos. Let's do us nerd out about uh, stuff. Like the 23rd anniversary of Goofy Movie. There you go. What are we going to? I think this is where we'll play the final level here. This is level 70. We've made it through 69. Ah, uh, we should have stopped there. That was the best one yet, I think. Wasted opportunity. So if you all like this classic game, check out the potentially one day classic movie by Dwayne The Rock Johnson called, same title, Of Rampage. This is what inspired it, not this directly, the arcade, which was then ported to the NES here, which eventually inspired 30 years later, the movie featuring The Rock. So oh, let's do the search bonus real quick. Close out on the search bonus. You're not search bonusing with me. Oh. <laughs> you screwed me, monkey. Sarah says never stop during 69. Uh, I don't think we can... Can we say that? I don't think we can say that on TV. I mean, I think she can say whatever she wants. Yeah, I don't think we can say that. So... Yeah, switch us out of here. I did. We're switched oh, out. Oh, we're switched out already? Yeah, so... This has been... Yet another installment of DNA's Classic Lounge with special guests this week, Locksteady, and Andrea Lana returning my Switch. Almost <laughs> being a special guest. Almost, almost caught her so on camera. Close. Um, we're still playing because we can't stop. This is such a can't stop, won't stop. This is it's just repetitive grind. Which, it's this, the whole reason I played World of Warcraft for so long. It's just mind numbing. So we're just climbing and punching. Oh no, he shot me in the penis. Oh wait, I'm a lady, I don't have a penis. It's true. Well, maybe. Well, that's true. I guess I should not just assume no. this lizard's gender. DNA is an inclusive brand. Uh, so oh. fuck what Rob says here. Whoa. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I was about to be like, we should do like Valor Club and unveil a new like rainbow logo, but... We should, I like it. Actually, uh, I mean, my new... new Pitch logos are very colorful. It's true. I've been using them. It's true. It's true. But Eric is dot 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 because <laughs> that's what he does. Or he hashtags. Maybe he's pitching his stream. Ah, <laughs> hashtag drive by. No, his stream is just. Oh, just play. Wow. Speaking of his stream, you can catch him tomorrow night at 8.30 on YouTube, Twitch, and his Facebook. I'm assuming he'll be playing more Far Cry 5 as he proceeds through that fun story. Um, I don't know if you've played in between streams, but um, it's been entertaining so far, at least for me. Convinced me to buy it. Convinced Kevin to buy it, even though Kevin wasn't gonna. Did both of you actually buy it? Yeah. That's funny. Yeah, so. Kevin, Kevin says to me, Oh my god, this game looks so cool, all the trailers look awesome, I'm probably going to get it. And then, because uh, he watches everything Rooster Teeth puts out, Rooster Teeth did a playthrough. Um, 
preview playthrough, and he was like, ah, I watched him play it, and it just doesn't look like it's going to appeal to me. I don't think I want it anymore. And then Eric started playing it, and he was... Uh... He was sold? Yeah, he was like, nope, got to buy it. Eric says he's not streaming tomorrow. Well, I guess you can catch a rerun of Eric's streams from last week. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's messed up, man. I'm really amused right now. I haven't moved at all, and I have not you lost got any hit. points or any health. No, I'm getting hit. Like, the dynamite keeps hitting me. It's just not doing anything. But anyway. It's tomorrow night on DNA's tryouts lounge. <laughs> <laughs> no, but we'll keep you posted as... Uh, I don't know if he's kidding or not. Because in text, it doesn't really convey emotion or uh, tone. So you don't know. Um, this Friday, however, Friday the 13th, as we mentioned, check out the Weekly Dosage episode 28 as we play through Friday the 13th with guests on the PlayStation 4. Hopefully it has it on there. Um, if not, if you do have it on there, yeah, if you do have it on there, um, message us, comment on our posts, um, We'll invite you to a gaming session, and hopefully you get to be Jason, and we all try to escape you, because that would be a lot of fun. Yeah, he specifically was telling me that he got a, uh, what was it, Savini Jason? Oh, Tom Savini? Yeah. And he was uh, he was pretty excited about that. That's a pretty cool skin. So. Yeah, they changed a lot of the stuff. It's like um, 2.0 of the game, so they have a lot of new upgrades, which I haven't had a chance to play yet, so um, I'll be describing a lot of what was in the game before and then my thoughts on the changes How it's changed. Yeah. so i, I kind of purposely waited to have a better reaction to um the changes and it's fitting that it's friday the 13th yeah but that time. that'll conclude this week's episodes and i can't say enough that we're looking forward to next week because it's going to be our first attempt at um a whole week of the same game series yeah and it is officially dubbed as dna's god of war week We'll be playing through various God of War games. Um, still figuring out the logistics of that, but we will be featuring some of the classics and, of course, the unveiling of the new game this Friday. Mm -hmm. So, Locksteady here will be doing the honors and uh, showing off his new game and possibly segueing into uh, his schedule at some point to be playing that game. Um, again, I'm not sure if that's the plan or so it says possible. I'm sure he can answer. He's right here. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, believe you me, I'm going to be playing that game. Um, As I figured. But uh, I'm hoping that I will be able to finish up Uncharted 2 quickly. Um, obviously not in time for God of War at this point. Right. Um, Unless you do a special stream over the weekend. Just do like a really long one and just knock the whole rest of the game out in one a long, setting. A long play this, this weekend. Yeah. Um... It's not a bad idea, to be honest. Tempting. But, so, uh, it, I guess it's really going to depend how far I get in, uh, how far I got in comparison to how much is left. Sorry, I had to, um, I don't remember. I, see, seriously, look, no health down, no score lost. I died once last round, but I haven't touched the controller since. Anyway, um, <laughs> So yeah, I think I'm right around halfway through Uncharted 2. And so if I wrap that up, if I can wrap that up quickly, if I'm right, if I'm halfway through, um, I might just go ahead and finish out Uncharted 2 before I start on God of War. Um, but I guess we'll really see. It's gonna depend very heavily on how the stream goes next Friday. How, uh, how interested people are. Well, and how awesome the game winds up being in practice, because if it's as good as I think it is, I'm probably not going to be able to wait, you know? No, that's true. Might be something that you just record your gameplay and upload to the channel as an on-demand video. Could be. Could be. So. It'll get up there somehow, though. We might experiment with that in the future, too, uh, as far as storied content that you want to see more of. Uh, for those of us that, you know, don't wait until our next stream to play a game, um, we might mess around with that idea or concept yeah yeah it's really dependent on what you guys want to see from the channel so as always in the comments of any of our stuff give us some suggestions give us some feedback let us know what we're doing well let us know what we're doing terrible be honest because we're really here to entertain you mm -hmm. in some form or facet yep yep um so really i don't have much else for you in this episode of classic lounge i want to thank rob for coming out this week thanks for having um, me 
hopefully this was an entertaining episode. It was a lot of fun to play this co-op rather than solo, even though that's what I'm doing now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, you left me alone on that search. Come right. on. As always, subscribe to our stuff, whether you're watching on Twitch or YouTube. That way you can stay notified of every time we go live and every time we put out new content. Again, we're working very hard to entertain you. All we ask in your return favor is that you hit that follow or sub button. It's all we need from you. Yep, yep. So, again, we appreciate everyone Please. checking us out every single night of the week when you do and every single one of our episodes. And for those that chat in, thank you as well for that. So, until next time, this has been the Classics Lounge. Play more games? Yeah, keep gaming. <laughs> so, take care, everyone. See you guys.